Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, one of the goals of my YouTube channel, as well as my cooking classes, is to make everyday cooking fun, pleasurable, and creative. Uh, because in order to make uh, home cooking sustainable, uh, enjoyment is the centerpiece. Uh, in this video, I would like to show you a dish that uh, my friend really enjoy cooking for his family. Uh, I will call him Jim for the purpose of this video. Uh, Jim is not much a cook uh, until he starts discover cooking in the wok. Uh, the dish that he really enjoy cooking is macaroni and beef uh, in the wok. Uh, Jim readily admits that this dish might not be the healthiest dish that he would like to cook regularly, but his family really enjoys it. And more importantly, that they are eating together. Okay, so let's get into the kitchen and see what we could do. My large 14-inch cast iron wok is perfect for uh, cooking this dish uh, because with its all-metal construction, it can go from the stovetop to the oven without ever missing a beat. I'm going to cook this uh, beef and macaroni dish. Start off with stir-frying in the wok and then I'm going to end up to baking it in the oven. And the first step of this cooking process is to stir fry some beef uh, in the wok. And the large wok actually has an unusual design uh, because uh, it has a round bottom, but it can sit directly on the stove uh, without the need of a wok ring uh, because the bottom of the wok is actually flat. It is like a pedestal. For example, right now I'm using this wok on my flat glass top uh, electric stove. I enjoy working on a round cooking surface as I'm doing right now, stir frying some ground beef with a uh, chopped onion. Uh, people who like round cooking surface would tell me that uh, the round surface make it easier for the wok spatula to go through, uh, but uh, I do not see any real difference between this and a wok with a flat uh, cooking surface. Even though I enjoy using the large cast iron wok, I normally do not use it for everyday stir frying uh, because the wok is too heavy. And furthermore, uh, the wok's handle is not insulated, uh, making it very difficult to manage. If I'm going to cook multiple dishes, I definitely uh, would not use this wok. Uh, this wok, however, is perfect for this dish uh, when I need to stir fry the content uh, first uh, and then bake the content in the oven. I can do everything in the same cooking utensil. Okay, by now the uh, ground beef and the onion are pretty much ready. Uh, I'm going to add the tomato sauce. Uh, for this dish, I'm going to use uh, one can of uh, tomato sauce plus one can of a tomato paste. Uh, as my wife standing there watching me doing this, she said to me, it looks like you are making a spaghetti sauce. Uh, in many ways, it is very similar to a spaghetti sauce. Uh, I probably could have used either one of them. Uh, however, the combination of the tomato paste and tomato sauce give the right kind of consistency that I'm looking for in this dish. If I have to choose between the two, uh, I probably will go ahead and use uh, two cans of tomato sauce. Uh, during the summer, when homegrown tomatoes are available, I probably will use all homegrown tomato to make this dish. Uh, they definitely give better flavor. Uh, so uh, quite often, I will also use uh, one can of uh, diced tomatoes. Uh, as, as you can see, uh, there are many different options uh, how to create this sauce. Uh, a great deal is going to be depending on what is available to you and what is your personal preference. Uh, the next step is for me to add some water uh, to create the consistency of the sauce. Uh, right now, the sauce is much too thick than what I would like to have, particularly when I have to uh, mix it with the macaroni. Uh, many years ago, I once watched a friend of mine uh, making this dish in a uh, skillet, and it was quite a struggle to mix things up uh, because the skillets that do not have this shape allow you to uh, mix things easily. Uh, in this case, the wok is perfect for cooking this kind of dish uh, because of its ease in mixing the uh, contents. 
Uh, in fact, the wok is such a flexible cooking utensil, as my uh, cousin Marge once told me that she said everybody should have a wok in their kitchen. And they could use the wok to do so many other things, even if they do not do stir frying. And now the dish is、uh, approach the final step of the cooking process.、Uh, the next step is for me to adjust the flavor of the dish. And my general approach when it comes to flavoring is that I have an、uh, idea how I want the dish to taste like, but I will consistent to make adjustment as I cook to achieve the flavor that. I'm looking for. After my quick taste test,、uh, I decided I'm going to use、uh, some of my basic seasoning mix、uh, to season the dish. And、uh, now,、uh, my basic seasoning mix is designed to enhance the natural flavor of the food ingredients. If you would like to learn more about the components of a decent seasoning mix,、uh, you can take a look at this video. Uh, the main ingredient in my basic seasoning mix is a, a mushroom seasoning,、uh, which is an extract from mushroom that is designed to enhance the umami flavor of a dish. I am doing some more taste testing.、Uh, in fact, this part of、uh, the cooking is my favorite part.、Uh, it allows me、uh, to constantly、uh, modify the dish according how I think it should be. So far, I just could not stop tasting it because the dish tastes really good.、Uh, since my wife is、uh, standing by next to me, I even asked her to give it a taste and、uh, offer her opinion what else I should change. As she has an opinion, she said it should be a little bit sweeter. So I add a touch more、uh, sugar to the dish.、Uh, actually, to me, it is、uh, perfect, but. Uh, since I have asked her opinion and she offered it to me, I better accept it、uh, before I get myself into trouble.、But、the final step is to add the macaroni to the dish. I had this macaroni cook about、uh, four or five days ago、uh, when I make macaroni cheese.、Uh, I cooked the entire box and I use half of them for the macaroni cheese. And I use the other half for this dish.、Uh, this is a form of、uh, advanced prepping.、Uh, by having ingredients ready,、uh, I can make this macaroni dish uh, almost uh, uh, readily without have to worry about、uh, boiling macaronis. And of course, this is、uh, important、uh, that I remember I have some macaroni in the refrigerator. Uh, otherwise, that、uh, it will go to、uh, spoil. So it is important、uh, when you do advanced prepping, you should keep track of what you have. Basically, you need to have some sort of an inventory. And next, I dust the surface of the macaroni and beef、uh, with some Parmesan cheese.、Uh, my wife told me that it is absolutely essential to、uh, cover the top of the dish with bread crumb because that will give it a crunchy and crispy texture. Uh, this breadcrumb、uh, came from a bread that I baked several days ago. I tried the breadcrumb in advance, but a viewer gave me a very useful tip.、Uh, she told me that you can just put the breadcrumb directly、uh, without drying it,、uh, because it will dry out during the time when it is being baked, and it makes a whole lot of sense to me.、Uh, I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Fahrenheit、uh, before I place it in the oven and bake it for about 15 minutes.、Uh, since everything is already cooked,、uh, the goal of putting in the oven is to、uh, brown the bread.、Uh, I took the wok out of the oven、uh, when the bread crumb has turned golden brown.、Uh, I love the shape and form of the large 14-inch cast iron wok. I don't think any other cooking utensil is better、uh, than this to cook this dish. Uh, the dish is moist and、uh, flavorful. It probably has the best flavor I have ever tasted. Well, of course, because I make it myself. As you can tell, my wife and I both enjoy this very much because this is all what is left.、Uh, macaroni beef has always been one of Jim's family's favorite.、Uh, Jim told me that he really enjoy cooking this dish in the wok、uh, because he can、uh, do everything、uh, in the wok. He liked the idea that、uh, he start cooking the dish by stir frying all the ingredients in his wok,、uh, and then he finish off the dish by browning it in the oven.、Uh, he said he can cook this dish in about fifteen minutes、uh, after he got back from work.
Another reason that Jim really like uh, cooking this dish in the wall because it is uh, scalable. Uh, he can cook uh, enough for two to three people, or he can cook a big portion that will serve up to eight individuals. Uh, in fact, he now cooks this dish uh, usually about once a week. Uh, Jim told me that now they are cooking more and more, and the end result is that they start to eat together uh, almost every night. Uh, personally, I must admit I'm not much a fan of uh, macaroni and beef, but I really like Jim's story. In fact, uh, after I make this dish, my wife and I really enjoy it. Uh, Jim is an excellent example in demonstrating my template-based cooking. Uh, by using this basic template, Jim has already created many different versions. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.